guys uh oh my god i had a very eventful morning i don't like how my hair came out not cute at all why are you looking like this but anyway <laughs> good morning my loves uh hope you guys are doing well i am currently rushing to go to the SE event in Cape Town had a very eventful morning. Had to rush to Kumgani school basically to go watch him swim for a fundraiser. One thing about these schools, you will fundraise. With your fundraiser, my dear. Over and above everything that you're doing, yay moot. Patal, money for nothing. But yeah, we went there. Uh, Kumgani was swimming. I just didn't get time to, uh, what you call it? I didn't get time to film because like i was just running i was all over the place i was literally all over the place so i right know i'm doing my makeup uh i think i'm gonna rush I, I don't even know what to wear i have so many options yet i don't want to wear any of them so that's the other dilemma that i'm facing so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try doing my makeup as quick as possible because i actually do not have time guys i'm oh, almost done but i'm going to be late i'm definitely gonna be late but um uh, yeah i still haven't decided what i'm gonna wear as you can see my outfit options are at the back so the what do you call it the <laughs> i don't know why oh the the invite like had elements of color blocking so i'm assuming this thing is like a color blocking vibe thing i don't know how to explain it but basically those are the elements that i got and if you know me i mean i wear color but like i don't wear color like that if that makes sense like i have very few items of color in my in my in my clothes amongst my clothes and also one thing about me i vow to myself to not have too many clothing items i just i don't care to and i feel like it's clutter um so i think i'm gonna try the outfit options with you guys guys please never mind the people outside like silapa and about it i really love this powder from beauty revolution i love it with all my heart guys it does something for me that a lot of powders can't but i'm gonna sort out my hair that my makeup is done oh guys when does it i put highlighter it's broken this is apparently the i'm actually gonna buy the the one that this is meant to be a dupe for uh, you it's not too much do you guys still put highlighter yes guys i'm gonna fucking make up in so long do you guys still put highlighter i mean in any guys i must not be the only one who's beaming for no reason uh, 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 uh. I feel cute let me let's go to the clothing now guys let me quickly show you my outfit options i have these pants from the tita lux these from zara and i also have this dress guys i think you've seen this dress google also has this dress i actually bought it last year i was meaning to wear it it was my other option to wear at her bridal shower sana the god said no and i'm so happy that that happened because me and google would be wearing the same dress on the day so still have mine i'm thinking i'm gonna wear this but it's too chalala for like the event i'm going to guys i ended up wearing for the pink dress uh, i hate the fact that it's going this way instead of this way i just find it awkward and actually i would just have preferred it if this was the case but anyway very late but i'm gonna do my hair because I'm watching the stories. 
of the brand that invited me and it seems like nobody is there my hair is not cute nothing is cute today actually my hair just didn't come out the way i wanted it to come out but we'll just take it for what it is mm. I also cut a lot of my hair and I'm so happy I did it because once my hair is a bit like big when it once it grows and it's like a bit longer it just doesn't perform as as well uh when then when it's what am I saying what am I saying I can't even see what's happening at the back of my hair. But... You know when it's hot, everything just is a drag, honestly. Um, yeah, I think I need to go. I actually need to go. I have no business still being here, honestly. Uh, let me go. I'm just gonna do my sideburns. I'm gonna put on some earrings. I have some earrings actually down here. Up here, I mean. Guys, please tell me what your earrings. I wish like this was live. Which earrings must I wear? I'm so late. I think I'll wear these ones. I think I'll go with these ones. I'll give you a clear mind. Might give you some insight. I'll share my world.
back from my exercise <sighs> I had a good workout session it wasn't hectic at all because on on Wednesdays I usually do it with a PT um, and it is hectic <laughs> like it's hectic when I'm doing it with her but when I'm doing by myself like I, I don't kill myself that much and I'm just doing it because it just makes me feel good guys because when I tell you that yesterday I didn't work out and every time I decide to stay at home and not do anything I end up being really like depressed and like sad so if you've started working out even if it could be like just for to work out you don't you're not really trying to lose weight or anything like continue doing it because I feel like last year i was low-key depressed guys and i'm actually noticing it now because now i have so much like life in me and i want to do stuff i want to wake up i want to do this i want to do that i feel like last year i was low-key depressed and it's because i was not doing any physical activities like i literally wasn't walking i would like try gym then there yeah and like my mood would like do you understand but when I tell you that since I've tried walking, because now, like, if I don't go to the gym, so on, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm like, <laughs> it's like I drank coffee. Uh, on on Mondays, I don't do anything. So I either walk, uh, I walk my 3Ks, or I will, like, try to do, like, either home workout or come to the gym and work, work out. Uh, on Tuesday, I do Pilates. On Wednesday, I do PT. I work out with the personal trainer for an hour on thursday i do yoga friday is my chill day uh if i feel like i want to do something i'll work out or something like that or have a like take a walk or something like that and when i tell you that i like my mood has changed drastically so if you're working out if you just like stay active guys stay active i don't want to lie to you stay active Who I uh, bumped into <laughs> on my way back home. <laughs> Guys, change of plans. We are going to McDonald's because the pizza shop is closed here. So, I'm driving all the way to town to McDonald's. But you know what, guys? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this for my kids. Luna, taking my kids to the shops was such a bad idea. <laughs> it was really a bad idea, but as long as they enjoyed, I'm fine, honestly. Um, I also popped into cakes. I bought this because I want us to get my straight kinky hair slaying. So we're gonna use this. I'm gonna bleach the knots, even though the knots are bleached, but I'm going to bleach them again. And then uh, I bought this, guys. I really want to buy. I really want to buy the one from Take a Lot that everyone is talking about. But one thing about me, I have this rule regarding Take a Lot or like any like online shop thing that I have that if I'm not going to clear the whole cart. I'm not going to clear it. I'm not going to clear. Oh my God. I'm so irritated. Oh, I'm going to digwa, guys. Oh, I'm going to digwa. So anyway, despite my, uh, my, oh, my irritations, guys, I'm so bored. Uh, so basically my, <laughs> take a look on. This is how much I need. I hope you guys can see this. Can you see the money? Can you guys see? That's how much I need to clear my card. I don't know. It's just something that I have. And I feel like it's a bit toxic, but like Silapa basically. Silapa at this moment. I need 27,000 guys. I'm paying 27,000 rand. Um, so hence why I'm not uh, buying that one from Take A Lot. I'll buy it when I can afford to check out my card on Take A Lot. So I got this. I also bought the glue. My husband bought the glue for me. But I, I don't have an issue with the spray, honestly. Like, yeah, I'm bored, but I don't really care for it. And I also bought these. I actually 
wanted to go like on a specific like day where i'm just like shopping spree like just buying uh skincare because i feel like my skincare is finished and over and above that i just i feel like i need like skincare because i literally have i don't not that i don't have anything i have a lot of stuff that is from what you call it like pr and stuff uh that i'm using and i'm trying out but i always want to have the stuff that i trust if something happens i break out or anything i can go back to my everyday routine in the process of me trying that whole new thing but uh i think i'm gonna change into a dress i don't want to go out anymore i am tired uh but my husband asked me to make me gnocchi guys one thing about my husband he's white like can someone tell me why am i married to a black man that's constantly asking for like gourmet meals i can share it i'm not the restaurant my husband never my husband has never said baby you know like when i was growing up my father would always ask like for things because my stepmom was into like cooking fancy stuff so my father would ask for simple things like can you please just make me you know morojo and bab and like a protein or something like that so my husband asks for the most bougie like restaurant meals ever uh he's asked me to make him gnocchi uh so i think we're going to be doing that and i also just want to like i don't want to meal prep but i just want to cook a lot of vegetables and just um what you call it protein i also bought a butterfly chicken so i think i'm gonna pop it in the oven and um sweet potatoes and things like that because guys uh since i've started like kind of fasting i'm back at square one regarding my like how regular i am so i think i'm going to go back and put in things like sweet uh sweet potato and butternut squash and things like that so i'm going to be prepping that uh some green vegetables and all of that so that during the week when i guys you know i was thinking before i uh what you call it before i go down to go cook <laughs> uh i also want to bleach my wig actually i was gonna show you stuff that i've got that i've got or accumulated throughout december i'm not a big buyer of clothes guys i don't know if you guys have noticed like i'm I love shopping but i don't i don't have i don't like having an excessive amount of clothing because it kind of is very overwhelming for me and i'm just like also i think i'm low how can not traumatized but like growing up my father used to buy us clothes all the time like it was literally like our how can i explain it like i don't know but every time the schools were closed i would buy clothes and not like small amounts of clothing guys like heaps and heaps of clothing i remember even like my aunts would literally shop in my closet like they would come and be like oh you haven't worn this like i probably still have clothes at like places that i visited like my grandmom's house where the clothes still have tags because i had so many clothing and i don't know why but it was like something that we did a lot growing up i guess my father didn't want us to look right whatever but like i bought clothes all the time it's the craziest thing so like now growing up i'm just like actually like as a person you do not need a closet full of clothing because you'll never get a chance to wear them so uh hence i'm very big on capsule wardrobe having key pieces and all of that so i don't buy too many clothing and I, i'm just not that person i don't know why and guys honestly i don't want to lie but i did buy some stuff during december because there were so many things happening in december who got married she had a bridal shower this 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 that so i kind of bought some stuff and i wanted to show you guys because you guys keep on asking me to do a haul or whatever i don't know what you guys are asking me but basically you're asking me to show you the stuff that i have or things that i've accumulated throughout this whole time and you guys want literally every single detail as to when the thing ap you guys want me to spoon feed you and you know what i'm not gonna complain i'm gonna do it i am actually going to do it so i thought maybe we should start with the dresses i might 
fit some of the stuff, but I'm not going to fit. I'm not taking off my clothes. I am tired. My workout and my kids finished me. And the fact that I still have to get the energy to go cook. Um, yeah, no, we're not doing that. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's this dress. I wore this in my last vlog, actually, when I went to the thingy with Kim. This is from Forever New. Uh, it was, I think I got this on a sale for like a thousand rand or something like that. But this was definitely on sale. I bought it on sale here in Cape Town. And it's this like, uh, florally dress. Uh, pink and green, very nice. And it has an open bag and some cutouts. Really cute. This cutout style was very much popular and very trendy like last season i don't think it will be as much it probably will still will last i think it still has like a few years to go so yeah this is the linen dress this is cute linen love it love it a lot and then the second dress is this dress that i bought for google's bridal shower uh i haven't really taken a picture with this dress i'm thinking of wearing this to an event i'm going to next week i'm not sure but it is quite short it's also linen and it's from forever new i got this for like two thousand rand i think guys this dress was quite pricey and you know what bothers me ah actually like there's one thing that bothers me about this dress guys it is the fact that it is so expensive okay that's fine it can be expensive um but when I tell you that this doesn't match, like this doesn't, it doesn't create like one beautiful pattern. I don't know, like maybe because I studied garment construction and I know how like patterny things, you're, basically your pattern needs to match and make a pattern. And this is just giving me not worth the price. I hate this. It doesn't really like, no one pays attention to it because it's like almost like circle scooter vibes but uh yeah i'm not a fan of this mess they could have made something happen honestly like and then i was wearing this dress a few days ago this dress is also from forever new i had purchased those two dresses for google's uh bridal shower because i wanted options and for some odd reason on that day i was like oh my god i'm not gonna wear this dress i don't want to wear this dress and google rock, rocked up work wearing the same dress guys this is the craziest shit ever but it's a beautiful dress you guys love me in this dress it is quite long honestly and mine is a size 12 so i bought mine in a 12 most of my dresses are in 12s actually both of my dresses are in 12s um this was a 12 i could have worn a 10 honestly speaking uh but i bought it when i was still big so 12 made sense and it is long but it's beautiful and it's asymmetrical and i also got this for 2009 lighting is strange today i don't know what's going on but like it's becoming winter guys so things are strange and then i also got this slip dress uh you won't see it now this is also from forever new and i think i paid 2000 right for this one too or 1800 or something like that um this is this beautiful silk slip dress with the slit here honestly speaking guys slip dresses don't look nice on me like i make it work but like they don't do anything for me and especially if you have hips guys slip dresses don't do anything for anyone but this dress is so classy guys oh my god she is classy but um yeah she's she's really is very classy and the quality is really good this is like very heavy compared to slip dresses that i've owned before um and i low-key kind of like think the price makes sense if that makes sense um yeah also at forever new i got these jeans these are skinny jeans guys and they are so good uh it's the high rise curvy skinny jean ankle love them guys the they stretch so nice and i know I know last year I promised you guys a denim um, video. I promise I'm gonna do it. Um, and these were a thousand rand. I also got them in the size 12, but I promise a 10 would have done something like, but it was gonna be like almost uncomfortably tight. And I think in the Chilo guys, Bangogo, like, I'm not kidding myself for clothing. Like, if it's not comfortable, I'm not wearing it. Uh, this is a gift. This is a gift from my friend. Can you see this? Yeah. 
can you see this this is the Temamakugu uh, Heritage Collection dress. Look at this. Unfortunately, she couldn't find, um, Google couldn't find the Sutu one because I think she only like bought the dress like later on. But when I tell you that I am happy and I'm satisfied, I'm so happy that I have this dress. She got the, I think this is the Venda or Betty one. Which one is this one? Let me see. Uh, it's giving Swati. It's giving Swati or Venda. But actually, you know what? I don't care. I got the dress. And I love it. I'm going to wear this so much in winter. You guys. You guys are still going to see me in this dress. <laughs> then we went to Zara, guys, as always. Um, I got this at the Zara sale. Um... Uh, had a very bad situation with the manager at Zara. She was so rude, 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 rude. But anyway, I ended up buying this jacket, and this jacket is in a small. Usually, I buy I, uh, I buy my blazers in a large, ah, uh, not a large, a medium. But this is in a small. I mean, she's tight, but she fits. Uh, I don't even like layering anyway, so I mean. She's stunning. Love this jacket. I love it so much. I have a black one. Oh, this blazer. This jacket. I have a black one and I love it as much. So I have a blue one just for a pop of color. Because one thing about me, I only wear like four colors max. Like I can't, I mean, I try. I do wear color. I'm not going to say like I don't wear color at all. But for me, uh, nude, white, blue and what and black literally those are the like most of the time uh my clothes are in that color and for me i feel like blue is like a neutral for me for some odd reason but anyway uh then i got this uh this this perfection of a sweater this is not this is a knit but it's not like thick if that makes sense i have that sheet in one um that's more dense than this but also that one is not that thick also guys like even if it's winter i'm not wearing anything thick like i'm i'm not doing that but anyway um i got this in a small and this was 539 uh it probably still is dead zara uh, that one was on uh, not on sale and then i also got one thing about me i will buy a white t-shirt uh but this one just has like you know some vibe here this like blue thing this is so pretty how pretty is this guys this is cute uh as i told you guys me and blue like this um so it's just it's honestly just a normal literally normal um blue white t-shirt it's just a normal white t-shirt but I just had to have it because of these blue things and i just love wearing a normal white plain t-shirt with jeans like it's all pants like it's just my thing um this was on sale i got it in the large because this was probably the only size that was left haven't tried it on i don't know uh but i got this one in a large and it went from 39 to 219 so there's like 100 rand off i got that one on the sale oh and i also want to show you these shoes because everyone was asking me about this these ones are from country road and i swear these pants are like one how much were they like 1300 if not 1500 these are the shorts that i wore to the trip and they're really cute but they're so big i bought mines in a 16 because i wanted them to be loose and then i also got this this is a basic lacy camisole i'm just looking for a bra for this because i feel like when i'm wearing it with a normal bra it just looks clumsy i'm looking for like almost like a sexy sultry bra that has like you know those extra things i don't know how to explain it but i'm looking for a nice bra for this but this is a basic uh when i get a bra i'm probably gonna wear this all the time you guys are gonna see me I'm gonna stand with pants jeans everything this is a basic this was not on sale i got it for 539 um and then i also have this oh my god oh my god so this is giving Dolce and gabbana like let's, let's be honest let's be it's giving me doll shea so this was a two-piece unfortunately the pants 
actually this thing before it was even on sale i was interested in it but the pants were not panting like i couldn't find a size in this and i literally went to all the the two zoras we have here in cape town and i couldn't find it and i kind of forgot about it low-key forgot about it then when we were at the at the sale uh they had this but it was just in the small size and i was like you know what i'm gonna get it because i'm obsessed with this print and i'm going to wear like you know like those bodysuits i have them in my sheet in order because i can't find them anywhere and i cannot afford well for it like and not mali for that um so um i got this in this in the small it is quite small like it can close but it's small but i need to wear something under so i bought the the body suits they're in my sheet in order i just need to actually uh check what's going on with my sheet in order uh so i'm gonna wear this with like pants and then or maybe jeans and then wear that bodysuit and then put this over and tie it. it's gonna look stunning i know this is gonna look good so that's what i bought for so basically like a on top like i don't know how to explain it but yeah you get it you'll see you know you see when i'm wearing it uh as if i'm gonna take a picture because one thing about me i will not take pictures and i'm probably not gonna vlog but yeah this is also what i got it was was a, yes it was on sale went from 799 to 499 so yeah guys you know what um uh, there are things that i bought that are probably in the wash and i forgot about them but this is like the crux of what i bought honestly and the things that you guys seem to be very interested in so yeah i also i also wanted to show you this you guys have already seen this on my instagram reels but homozo got me this oh stunning stunning uh i'm just trying to i don't know if you guys will see but these are versace earrings with the letter v how how fitting one of my friends actually just made me away but this makes so much sense must be with versace v earrings these are so pretty these are i think they are gold oh they are stunning they, the detail is out of this world i've worn them before that's why they are messed up but uh stunning uh they're like little studs they're so cute um yeah that's it this is
Hello, my love. Uh, Future Manawa here. I'm <laughs> literally hopping from my current vlog to this vlog because while I was editing, I noticed that I forgot to install the hair. Let's put on the wig. I am getting ready in my other vlog, but we're just gonna put on the wig because we wanna see how pretty this gorgeous baby is. And if you guys forgot, the hair is from Love Me Hair. The hair is from Love Me Hair. And you know, you know I'm a Love Me Hair girl. You know uh, I will always and forever be a Love Me Hair girl. Like I love them so much. I love them so much. They really are good, especially when it comes to hair quality. Uh, I got this, uh, which is that hair band thingy that if you don't want to glue your wig down, you can use it wig caps because we need wig caps they also gave me this cute bag that they usually give and they said mama you deserve a what is this this is a shower cap or a bonnet i'm not sure but you know you know uh so we're going to i'm going to be installing the hair i'm clean guys i've washed uh i also washed my hair and I'm definitely not relaxing my hair anytime soon. I'm taking a break from relaxers, so I'm gonna be wearing wigs a lot. The weather is quite cold, like in Atikia, Guzoba, and Aganeta, also with that. So uh, I'm assuming that I can just, you know, wear my hair and not relax it for a while uh, because it's finished. But anyway, this is a wig cap that I already have with the mirror. Let's. Put the mirror here. Oh, what the fuck did you think? You probably wasn't even thinking. Oh, yeah. Now, now you gotta tell your friends about it. Gotta tell them how you fucked up on the inside. Should I do the wig cap method, guys? Because it's giving. I can see it's in it. Did I see? No. Presidential suite on the posit, elevator up to the room, shower up and then we hit the club, touchdown, gotta see what's up, area code in my phone, what numbers do I still have, who do I know from the past, hit one, she say she got a man, hit another one, it goes green, must have changed foes on the team, remember when you let me in between, that was 2017, all good, chuck a look around, find one to see my type, damn my dog and he know what I like, he done found me plenty in my life. Problem is I meet a girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Gallery of credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing, though. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. Maybe I'll love you one day. Maybe we'll someday grow. Till then, I sit my drunk ass on that runway on this one way. Two thirty, baby, won't you meet me by the beam? Early, baby, later, you can show me things You know what it is whenever I visit Windy City, she blowing me kisses, no 30 degrees, way to go, so hold me tight Will I see you at the show tonight? Will I see you at the show tonight? Okay, 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 okay 
jury in the safe on arrival. Pistol on J for survival. A lot of people gunning for the title. A lot of people trying to take us viral. I'm just trying to have a nice night. The waiter brought a check for the meal. She said, babe, I think there was a typo. Guys, you actually don't even need glue, hey? Like, I haven't stuck on my lace. Look. Haven't stuck on my lace. It's giving scum. Okay, I just need to take it back a little bit. And this is giving scalp. It's it's giving that. Uh, but I'm gonna apply it to you guys because I'm going somewhere. Oh. I'm going somewhere and I need my hair to be stuck on. Guys, can you see? You literally cannot see the lace. Like, where is the lace? And if you check here, my lace is not even. It's giving scalp, sweetie. It's giving that. It's giving this is my hair. <laughs> Never mind that I look so crusty, but you guys, this hair is the business. It's the business. This is so pretty. You know that TikTok where that girl is like, it's giving me American uh, <laughs> uh, thingy. 
Um, it's giving me, what does she say? It's giving me American something. Uh, I think teenager or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's giving that. It's actually giving that. Like, this is really nice. So this has the kinky, uh, what you call it? The kinky hairline. So I'm just going to cut these and then just, you know, manipulate the hairline and then yeah guys i'm gonna look like i grew my hair and my hair's long now <laughs> but i don't know why i'm not feeling the middle parts it's giving weird obsessed with this hair guys this is how the hair looks uh, watch my next vlog i'm going to dress up and i'm changing but if you want to try out this hair please check um love me hair it's giving <laughs> bad like it's literally let me let me actually just uh fix my my eyebrows Guys, this room is a mess. But you know what? Whatever. Um. Uh, mm. Yo. Uh. It's giving. It's my hair, and you're not gonna tell me anything. I feel like I look weird, but like variety. I look. The hair is stunning. Also, I don't wear long hair like that, but I feel like I want to curl this hair so bad. I really want to curl it. Should I? Should I curl the hair? No, it looks good anyway. So if you are interested in this unit, please check out my description box below. It's from my faves, Love Me Hair. Um, yeah, guys, let's go back to the vlog. <laughs> I made my meal preps. And I kind of fell asleep on the couch. But I know that my husband wants the gnocchi and honestly I promised him, so I think we're gonna try doing that. Why are there so many ants here? Can we watch in three minutes? No, it's time to sleep. But 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 You're going to school tomorrow, Papa. Then I hate you. I hate the lunch. How you died. Yes, imagine oh. if I said this to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> well a le gentle Guys. parenting. Um, guys, I hate you.
so guys this is how you can tell your gnocchi is ready uh, it floats to the top so I'm gonna be using this to catch the gnocchi and put it in here Guys, I literally just noticed that I've been cooking this whole time. Uh, show you guys my cooking without the hob light on. <laughs> and it looked so dark. But guys, please forgive me because I am tired. Guys, I am about to wipe the counters right now. And I wanted to show you this thing. I got this from Woolies. This is a granite and marble cleaner, cucumber and jasmine tea with lemon oil. When I tell you this smells really good, I think actually I like citrusy uh, scents for the kitchen. My kitchen right now is a big mess. Like it is a mess because I'm kind of not paying too much attention to it because I have big plans for it. Hence you don't even see, I don't even hang my fancy country road. Um, tea towels anymore I'm just like I'm just like not doing anything right now because I want to just there's a lot of things that I'm planning but um, yeah they're gonna come to fruition very soon actually <laughs> not even fruition like I'm gonna do I'm gonna stop procrastinating and just continue with my kitchen plans I'm rambling but yeah uh, but I just wanted to show you this thing this thing smells so divine it smells so good um yeah i'm just i'm have heavily i'm heavily obsessed with it uh if you go to Woolies, try it out I, it, it actually does smell really good i don't know what it does for the granite and the marble because there's such porous stones uh but it makes your kitchen smell really good. Let me just wipe my thingies. Then I'm gonna dash up. Guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Good night. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I've seen that everyone is talking about the little thanks hearts. Uh, if you want to, you can do it. It's not a must, guys. <laughs> but subscribe, subscribe, and watch, like, and comment. I'm slowly getting back to engaging with the comments. Um, so I'll see you. Let me. I'm going to have this dessert. Me and my husband are going to share this dessert because we are totally obsessed with this. It is so good, guys. It is so good. It can feed four people. It's really good. So that's what I'm going to be having while I enjoy myself. Bye. See you guys in my next video.